Today's topics from our commentary on Reuters Breaking Views. The scream, how Edvard Munch's, Munch's uh, painting has become a, an easy, a symbol of easy money uh, and an easy life. And why uh, Mervyn King's Mayor Culpa is a missed opportunity. Uh, with me to discuss this, Chris Hughes. If I could actually get that headline out properly, yeah, we could talk about the scream. Um, right, let's actually, take a look at this a, painting. It's a pastel, not a painting, oh. actually, just to be clear. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Pastel, Axel. Yeah. Um, a symbol of easy money and easy life. The visual embodiment of modern anxiety and existential dread. Mm. Uh, this is a great piece by Edward, Edward Haddas. Um, I think he pushes a bit far when he sort of links in the LTRO and, and easy money. Because my point is, I, it's probably not the Spanish or the Greek banks buying this painting. No, well, we don't know who's buying this painting. <laughs> I, doubt, I doubt very um, much it's the Spanish or the Greek banks. Look, I think you're right. You can say that, that whenever this painting, this pastel, sorry, came up, for auction, uh, whether it's in the middle of a financial crisis or a financial boom, um, it would have uh, attracted considerable interest and probably set a new record in art, which it has done. Um, however, the event, the auction, uh, is thick with irony. You have this uh, this painting of uh, sorry pastel again of, of abject uh, misery. Mm. Um, uh, before a room of the super rich bidding up in, um, I, I, in yeah. ten million I, I, I dollar love, I love the line. increments. I don't, want to, I don't want to ruin this um, for people who are going to read the piece, but uh, which billionaire might have the opportunity to com contemplate the pure expression of anguish in comfort and leisure? <laughs> it's a great and, line. Yeah. And I don't think I don't think it is going too far to uh, to, to link it to what's going on in the in the financial system right now because we do live in a world of easy money. The, uh, the super rich are getting richer. Um, and, you know, it, it, it may be that, you know, at the margins here, um, some of that easy money sloshing through the system, you know, is, is pumping up um, you know, art prices. We'll see. Actually, there's you know, there's 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 more um, uh, significant auctions coming up. Mm. Um, but I, I, I guess my, I tool. guess my point is, you know, okay, the price may have been lower had we not seen central banks do, yeah, do what they do. But but I guess the super rich w wouldn't have cared that much. Well, the super rich are looking. They're looking for, look, they're looking for trophies. Look, there's all kinds of. Uh, potential bias here and all kinds of reasons why it would have gone for this price. It could be simply that it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a clear trophy asset, um, mm -hmm. there's diversification, but I don't think it is going too far to link it to okay. um, the world of easy money. And, and what an irony that this painting now could actually become you know, a symbol of that easy money and easy life of the super rich. All right. Um Mervyn King's mini mayor culpa is a missed opportunity, says uh, Peter Tal Larson. Um, he didn't go far enough. I mean, he said, "Look, we, sh we, we, we could have shouted from the rooftops mm. that uh, that we should have done more." Um, he went pretty far, didn't he? Well, I mean, it's quite astonishing, actually. So he's um, he's hitting out at the uh, the the previous philosophy of light touch regulation and uh, sort of laissez faireism, but 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 Mervyn King himself. If we recall correctly, rather bought into all that, so it's a little bit odd now to be uh, to be uh, to be attacking it. And so somehow he's missed the fact that his own intellectual framework is under attack and in what he's point, saying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now also he's saying that there was a a, a a a bust, but there was no boom. Did he not see the housing bubble in the UK that was inflated largely by? Um, uh, you know, very lax monetary policy at the Bank of England. Mm, mm. And now he's saying, well, that we need a, a, a financial policy committee that's going to um, you know, keep an eye on, it, on, on bubbles as they emerge and needs more tools to get to grips with them. And so he's missed the fact that there was you know, a problem like that under his watch. Yeah, so yeah. he's very selective in his details. And um, you know, it would have been a chance to do, and we've called it a mini mea, mea culpa, but a more maxi mea culpa may have been appropriate. Okay, very good. Uh, Edward, uh, Edward, Chris, thanks very much indeed. Uh, Chris Hughes from More Agenda Setting Inside. Watch our US Breaking News show every day, 12.30 Eastern, 17.30 BST. I'm Axel Throffel. This is Reuters.